All right, so let's dive into this. Uh, as an artist, what are you bringing to the table that, that benefits humanity? You know, what can art do that other disciplines cannot? Uh, in this video, I, I wanted to spend a few minutes and, and just really dig down a little bit um, and reflect on, on how art benefits humanity and, and changes the way that we think and, and we process our humanity and our lived experiences. And so to start off, I, I think one of the ways that, that art can do this is in its ability to, to kind of help us slow down and, and pay attention to what might already be in front of our eyes. <laughs> uh, th this is a video installation that I saw the last time I, I visited Crystal Bridges. And, and when I saw it, I remember just being mesmerized. <laughs> uh, this artist had recorded these models just sitting there um, in, in real time. And I think it was like an hour long, I don't know. And you know, the more I watched, the more I found myself noticing. And, and actually the more empathetic I felt toward these subjects. So, so in this case, art was able to help me slow down and, and really look at, at what I was already seeing. Uh, another strength of art lies in its ability to provide clarity and, and a rhythm that, that we don't normally tap into. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, art helps us notice the, the big themes uh, in our humanity and kind of helps us see the, the continuity of our lives, uh, perhaps in ways that we normally would overlook. Uh, and I guess going along with that, I think art is unique in its ability to, to lift up aesthetic experiences in, in a way that we wouldn't normally encounter. You know, in, in the day-to-day -day events of, of real time, we, we can't see things from a greater vantage point. Uh, you know, and we can't see the, the overarching narrative of our life, you know, especially when we're, we're in the trenches of, of being a student or, you know, working a, a nine to five job. But, but art is unique in really among all the other disciplines in its ability to do this. I don't know if you've ever thought about it, you know, but, but in a couple of hours, we can see the life saga of, of a hobbit unfold and, and we can see how it all comes together, um, you know, without, without being too bogged down in the, the mundane kind of nitty gritty of real time. And so, so art is unique in its ability to, to lift up aesthetic experiences in ways that you wouldn't normally encounter uh, in, in any other field. And, and I guess going along with that, the, the last thing I wanted to add and really kind of highlight is, is art ability to, to give us transcendent experiences. You know, when, when we experience a, a symphony that, that brings us to tears or, or we see beautiful artwork that overwhelms us and, and makes us feel alive, you know, we, we can't help but to think that our life has, has meaning and, and some kind of ultimate purpose. I, I don't listen to, to Mozart and then walk away just thinking, ah, life is just a tale told by idiots, but it really signifies nothing. You know, <laughs> you can't do that. Um, and, and that's because great art points to the opposite, you know? It makes us feel like we're, we're tapping into something that's so much bigger and, and so much more beautiful than ourselves. And so, so art is, is really important to our humanity because it provides those, those feelings of transcendence. And, and we will talk more about that, that later in the course, but I just thought I would um, tack that in here when, when talking about just the importance of art and, and what it's bringing to the table that you don't see in, in any other disciplines.